Okay. Hi guys. Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The most commonly asked question with reference to VIVA, with reference to understanding, is the difference between the deadlock prevention and deadlock avoidance. For many of us, both would mean the same thing. No, sometimes we do feel that we are talking about English English, that prevention avoidance is one and the same stuff. Let's try to break it down and understand what is the basic difference when it comes to prevention as well as when it comes to avoidance. Let's understand prevention is a more of a defense, defense mechanism which is achieved with a proper design. That means you have a clear cut set of rules and regulations in order to make a request, in order to make a proper request in a sequence. Whereas when it comes to avoidance, we are trying to take request, ask ourselves whether this particular request can be granted or not with current state and can it lead to a deadlock or not. So prevention can be said as the first step, avoidance can be seen as the next step. Both although target one major stuff, one avoidance, we are trying to see a scenario where we may not have any kind of a deadlock and then we are trying to allow it. So that's one way of thinking. Deadlock prevention on the other hand first takes the request, process it and then take the final call by not allowing one or more deadlock situation to happen. Now when it comes to the theoretical difference to work with the deadlock prevention work works in a simple way. It prevents deadlock by containing how requests and resources can be made in the system and how they are handled. How you make a request? You can make an order request. There was a rule where you have to make all the requests and then only if satisfy a condition, you will be accepting and going further. Then there was an order request concept where at I, you can request I plus one, not I minus one. So this was the rule to prevent so that by default, the deadlock itself never occur. But on the other hand, deadlock avoidance work one simple way. It would request and see and check every step whether it is going through any problem or not. So going further, when it comes to deadlock prevention, we are trying to avoid at least one, at least one of the deadlock force situation that includes uh, mutual exclusion, waiting in a round ring, non preemption hold and wait out of which at least one should be avoided so deadlock will not be there so we can prevent that deadlock but on the other hand deadlock avoidance we take all additional information regarding the overall request processes resources and then decide this is more about concurrency how many people how many processes how many resources would together access so the difference between a deadlock prevention and avoidance is simple here we use design here we are not using design but we are trying to find out safe condition from the given data and some extra data regarding the current scenario that's it for the difference this is the basic difference between deadlock prevention and deadlock avoidance thank you